Google's best AI model is actually hidden. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to access it and seven different use cases to maximize your use case with this Gemini model. We are going to go to aistudio.google.com. On the right side here, we have different models. So we can see Gemini 2.0, 1.5. We wanna make sure we have 2.5 selected, and then we are going to go to 2.5 Pro. At the bottom here, there's something called grounding with Google search. We want to have that enabled. This allows allows 2.5 Pro to access Google search results and use it part of its response back to you. So it can actually use live search to give you better responses. So with that in mind, now we can use it to do really cool things. So for example, we can use it to research current events. So we can say, hey, what are the latest rumors regarding ChatGPT provide sources? So it is able to search through the web and it works extremely quick as you can see, and it can search through the web, it can find rumors about ChatGPT or can find information about the latest news and it will return back information. And here are our sources. So if we click one of these, we get a redirection notice and we can see, hey, here, how ChatGPT 5 will change the world. If we can go back, we can actually see all the different rumors. So as cool as this use case is, they're gonna get a lot more useful as we go through this video. So before we continue any further, I wanna remind you to hit the subscribe button because it allows you to make AI content every single day to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest AI news, information, tools, so on and so forth. So just click the subscribe button, it's free, let's continue. We can use grounding with Google search to take a complex concept with the latest breakthroughs and information about it and break it down to make it understandable. So here we said, hey, explain the concept of diabetes and include any significant breakthroughs or research published in the last year. So we can say, hey, what is diabetes? How does it work? and it goes through different types, recent breakthroughs and research. And it shows us the developments from 2023 to 2024, because that is the last year. So we can see all the different things that we have come up with and all the really positive news and information that is showing advancements to help cure and solve diabetes. It's not just good at researching and looking stuff up, it's also really good at coming up with solutions to problems. So this time around, we're going to put in this prompt. I'm counting error code 4090 with CUDA is not supported when using PyTorch. What are common causes and recent solutions reported online? So it is able to search the web, find the solutions to my specific problem, and then come back with a solution of some sort. And then I can always prompt it back and forth to be able to figure out how to fix my problem. Based on recent online discussion and documentation encountering error code 4090 or messages indicating how is not supported or unavailable when using PyTorch. And then it goes on to common causes. And if we scroll down, it tells us recent solutions and troubleshooting steps. So of course it can research, it can look stuff up to solve problems, but it can also generate ideas for you. So this time around we have, give me five unique and trending ideas for a YouTube video in 2025, considering popular themes and activities. It comes back with five, unique and potentially trending YouTube video ideas based off 2025, bleeding current and popular themes. And it goes through AI designs my life for a week. We can go down the hyper local living challenge and it gives us information with sources as to where it came up with these ideas. So we have all our ideas for our 2025 YouTube video. Maybe you wanna use grinding with Google search to learn. Well, we can actually learn historical stuff and our prompt this time around is describe the events of World War II and include the perspective or analysis from historians published in the last decade. So this is no longer just, hey, I wanna learn about World War II. This is saying, hey, I wanna learn about World War II, but only from the perspective of what we've updated, our views and different ideas over just the last 10 years. So it is able to do these really advanced searches, search the web, pull this data and bring it back to us so we can actually learn in a different way than we used to. Now we have all our information, we have different key events, and it breaks it all down for us. If you want information in a niche or rapidly changing topic, it can do that as well. Explain the recent advancements and key challenges in quantum computing over the past six months, citing sources. So it's gonna go through, it's gonna cite sources, it's gonna bring us back all this information we need to know about quantum computing just over the last six months. And here we have our recent advancements, approximately late 2024 to mid 2025, and we have all our different information about things that are happening in the world of quantum computing, as well as our key challenges. Lastly, it is really good at comparing products or services. So maybe you wanna know about the Nintendo Switch versus the Switch 2. So compare the features and recent reviews, and is it worth buying the new console? We have our current Nintendo, its features, recent reviews, 
And as we go down, it has different information about the next one. Is grounding with Google search perfect? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. It will still hallucinate from time to time. It is not perfect. You still have to watch how you word your questions, but it does make the results substantially better than if you didn't have it enabled, especially when you're using 2.5 Pro, which 2.5 Pro is their best model, but it doesn't have the ability to search the web. So this gives it that little extra oomph that it needs to bring it to the next level, making it Google's best AI model. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to stay up to date with what is the best models, don't forget to click the subscribe button because it's completely free. Don't forget to leave a like on the video because it tells the algorithm you want to see more content like this and drop a comment down below. What is your favorite AI model currently right now at the time of whatever it is when you're watching this. Uh, AI models will change rapidly. Who knows when you're watching this in the future. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with a really good video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see. At FranklinA.com where you're meant to be.